combination of slate and coarse and steel panels combined to reflect our new school's parkland setting and also to integrate aesthetically with Capel Rick House, our neighbouring Grade 2 listed building. However, what makes it so special is inside. The pupils, staff and architects all felt it was important to have a key space right at the heart of the school and we decided that our multi-use library would be a great feature. Welcome to Eastwood High, the deep plan building for the Scottish Government School for the Future programme and probably the best school in the country. I know lots of school pupils will say that, but here at Eastwood High, it's true. Of course it is. We helped to design it. Let's give you a quick look at some of the things that make it so special. Although it's open plan, the combination of these really cool cubes and the use of wood and acoustic panelling mean that even when classes are being taught here, what's said in the library stays in the library. And that works throughout the school. Of course, the building's also intended to be used by older people in the community and local groups frequently use the campus, including the superb sports facilities. That's a good point. I'll give them a quick look at the P block. I'll be back in a minute. We have a swimming pool, a gym, a dance studio and two four-court games halls. As part of their coaching skills course, some of our sixth years help with pupils from one of our cluster primaries who come to Eastwood every week. This game hall also doubles up as a 360 seat theatre and the Jannies can set up the seating in minutes. Let me just change into my gym kit. As you can see, I like to keep fit myself and Eastwood's got brilliant facilities for getting and staying fit both in PE and in loads of extracurricular activities. We used to have to wait and take turns. Now a whole class can play table tennis at once. Those of us who prefer things a bit more physical can join Miss McGavigan. She's women's world karate champion, so they don't come any better than her. Speaking of champions, we even have a girl who plays cricket for Scotland. And that was before we had our new cricket nets. Now we'll be taking on the Aussies. We've got a 400 metre athletics track, two all weather pitches, and a half mile cross country circuit. Oh, and there's also a dedicated classroom in the P block. A lot of pupils take SQA PE exams. The higher's even longer than the English, and Eastwood gets great results. The school's almost as busy in the evenings and at weekends when it's used by lots of local groups. Oh, I could go a wee dip just now, but you'd better get back. I'll just get changed and see you over there. Where's she gone now? Anyway, on the other side of that wall is one of the food outlets. We wanted to move away from the old cafeteria still dining and avoid having to spend ages waiting for food. Now we don't have to wait around. We can pre-order our foods and pay using the payments for schools and cash as catering systems and collect our lunches later. There's a mixture of seating styles and really comfortable furniture and it's guaranteed for 25 years so it'll still be here when our kids come here. This outlet has a real coffee shop feel to it and we can get proper coffees and food like paninis. I prefer something a bit less pretentious myself. With three different styles of food there's something to suit everyone. With the amount you eat you probably use all of them every day. But the styles of these outlets have changed over the years to reflect demands. I'm hoping for a sushi bar myself. Now who's being pretentious? <laughs> Both of these upstairs outlets can serve to our outdoor terrace in summer. Which would be so cool. Not the weather in Newton Mearns, yeah, you're probably right. Most of the food is prepared on site and of course, there's lots of healthy options. Are you not going to tell them about our fully operational commercial kitchen for our aspiring chefs? Well, super chef. You're the one doing the course, so why don't you show them it? Even the practical classrooms in Home Ec have these monitors, so everyone gets a really good view of what's going on, and it's all really safe. In here, we've got all the equipment you'd find in a real commercial kitchen. We even have a blast jar too. It's a great way to train for a career in food preparation. Everyone has to eat. Yes, but none of that fancy equipment of yours would exist without designers and engineers. We learn to use industry standard design software and can output manufacturing prototypes to our 3D printer and our laser cutter. There's big demand for engineers and big money too for the best ones. Look at the guy who designed the hand dryers and the toilets. I wasn't sure about the open plan toilets at first, but they do work well. Aye, there's no hiding place now, just like the rest of school. I think all the signs have worked out really well too, and the different colours for each department and floor make it really easy to find your way around. That's another thing designers do. 
We use pretty cool software in the music department too, and each of the classrooms has connections to the recording studio. Okay, so now is your chance to have a go at that. Take your keyboards out and switch them on and give it a go. That means we can learn all about audio technologies and sound engineering, and we can review our performances and hear how good they are. Or how bad. Speaking of performances... I love our new drama area. It's right in the middle of the school and is used for lots of things every day. Assemblies and awards without the stage space, and with these doors open, the stage can that be used for concerts and drama. the question. And you can open up the next set of doors to see the backstage area. We haven't shown them what's up there yet. What? There's no suspended ceiling so maintenance is much easier and the tiles won't get all horrible and stained like in the old school? No. Or that there's colour coordinated panels that reflect the outside of the building? No. The six year space. We shouldn't be in here until next year. We're not going to wait another year to make the rest of this film, are we? It's really cool in here though. That would be the building management system that maintains the temperature throughout the school with the most energy efficiency. It's got an A rating, you know. Not like you. I was talking about being in sexier, not the self-opening skylights that let out the excess heat. Yeah, I know what you mean. The whole school feels more like a college or a uni. Right, come on, let's go. We can show them the art terrace before we go back to class. Hold on, don't mention the new science labs. They're so much better equipped than the old ones. I think it's definitely one of my favourite subjects now. Maybe I'll have a famous quotation here one day. No, you have to say something sensible first. Well, thanks a lot. Did you notice? The guardrails here in the art house don't pierce the roof. It's no more leaky roofs in new school. Do you think the bike sheds will be used much? I think they will, once the good weather comes in. I think I'll stick to walking though, it's more sociable. So, do you fancy a stroll? Aye, okay. That's the one thing I hate about this new school. What's that? That new bell. I hate it. Come on, let's get back. 